What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NFL DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday Night Football, Chicago Bears, Los Angeles Rams. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. It's the only place you're going to get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. Let me know in the comments section, who are your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for this slate? And shout out to No House Advantage for being the presenting sponsor of this show. Check out the banner at the bottom of the screen for more details. Now, rounding out the bottom of my top 10, we've got Sony Michelle, Matt Gay, Darnell Mooney, Daryl Henderson Jr., and Allen Robinson the second. They're on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorite? First up at number five, we have Andy Dalton, and I'm a little surprised because you normally see a quarterback a little bit higher on this list, but he is a little bit of a step above Allen Robinson at six, so I, I get the delineation. There's not a lot of huge separation, as you can see on the screen, between number two and number five. Dalton's 9,800, projected just short of 20 fantasy points. They're seven and a half point underdogs with a 46 and a half point game total. PFF has the Bears with the 22nd ranked offense. That's not ideal. And what's really not ideal, the fact that they're taking on the number one defense in the Rams. 3.5% chance of going for north of 30 fantasy points. I have Dalton with a 7% likelihood of being the optimal captain, 44% at utility. Ultimately, a 52% chance that Andy Dalton is in the optimal lineup tonight. At number four, we're going to Cooper Cup. He's 8,800, and we're going to get to another wide receiver as well. Projected for 20 fantasy points, gets the benefit of being the favorite here, and the benefit of Matt Stafford making his debut. We've got the Rams as the number 10 offense. We've got the Bears as the number 11 defense, so pretty neutral there. It's, uh, you know, slightly above average versus slightly above average. Cooper Cup goes for north of 30, 10% of the time. He could have a big game here. If, because of his price... 15% chance of being the optimal captain, 36% at utility. That's going to give us a total of 52%. So it's the same as Andy Dalton. But if you're going to captains, I like to go to cup a little bit more than I like to go to Dalton. Vice versa, if we're talking about at the flex spot or utility or whatever it's called. But either way, these two guys, basically a coin flip to be in an optimal lineup. But I'm liking Cooper Cup here as a GPP play in the captain spot. Or you can stick around and go to another wide receiver from the exact same team. That would be Robert Woods. He's 9K, also projected right around 20 fantasy points. In this case, 20.8. Same, clearly, same matchup. Favorites, you're expecting them to throw the ball. That's why you go out and get Matt Stafford. I, 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 would, ex I would like the total to be a little bit higher, but I understand it from a defensive standpoint. Woods can, has the same sort of chance as Cooper Cup of going big. 10% chance of going north of 30 fantasy points but a 17% likelihood of being the optimal captain. I really like mixing in these wideouts. 36% at the utility spot, so just a little bit ahead of Cooper Cup, but honestly, we're splitting hairs. I like Woods and Cup very similarly. Two through five, I think you could order in any way. You probably want two of those four guys and maybe three in every lineup you're putting together. Now at number two, we bounce back to the Bears, and this one scares me a little bit, but 8,400 I think works as a price tag for David Montgomery, projected for 18 and a half. If the game stays at least mildly close, Montgomery will get his work. You're just a little bit nervous if it gets out of hand positively for the Rams, and you are worried about that Rams defense. This isn't a ceiling game for Montgomery, just slightly under 5% chance of going for north of 30. He's not as frequently a captain as much as Woods and Cup but he's a lot more frequent in the utility spot. So 9% likelihood of being the optimal captain, 46% at utility. Ultimately, that's a 55% total. That's enough to put him in the number two spot. The price tag works so well here. 8,400 is not a problem at all. Very easy to get to. And if you think that the Bears can stay in this game, Montgomery can get his work, then he's going to be the second best option on the slate. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Then head on over to Twitter and follow me, at Josh Engelman. Only place you're going to get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. I need you guys to hop into the comment section underneath this video. I want to know your favorite contenders and your least favorite contenders. And I have to, once again, give the shout out to No House Advantage. Peep the banner next to me. Use that promo code Osimo. It's going to help you out a ton.
Now, the relatively obvious number one contender for today is Matt Stafford. He's 11,600, projected for 21.7 fantasy points. They're favorites. He's going to sling the ball. This is a really nice spot for Stafford, making his debut for the Rams. Almost 12% chance of going north of 30. A 13% likelihood of being the optimal captain. That's actually less than some of the wideouts, which you don't see all that frequently. But 53% in the flex gives him a 67% chance overall of being in an optimal lineup. Two out of every three times we play out this game, Matt Stafford will be in that optimal. He's separated from the pack. I don't have much else to add. I'm really anxious to see him in a Rams uniform. But Matt Stafford is the number one contender for tonight's game. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NFL DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday Night Football's game between the Rams and the Bears. We've got a FanDuel version of this video around here somewhere. Make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled. We've got NFL Live Before Lock tonight breaking down this game as it leads up until lock. Good luck tonight, everybody. I'll be back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.